My name is uh, Brent Robbins, and I am the director of the master's program in community psychology. Our program is really distinctive in that there's other community psychology programs that are out there, but they don't have the humanistic approach that we do. You can actually use it for your personal development, but also use it to help people that you work with wherever you work. There's opportunities for our students to go out and do drug and alcohol counseling, become a licensed behavior specialist, to be program directors in community centers, prevention, community mental health, of course. There's all kinds of opportunities. And I think you can specialize in different ways, depending on the electives you choose. You could focus in a more forensic direction. You can go in a more industrial organizational direction and work with businesses. You could go in a more nonprofit direction. Uh, so there's lots of different opportunities for our students to get hands-on training. Many of our students have such a good experience there, they stay on and end up working for those organizations. These days, uh, a lot of qualitative research you don't have to be in person. It's a good time to be online because everybody's online. But what's really distinctive about the approach that we have here is we don't want to just reduce people to neurotransmitters, although you know neurotransmitters are important, but that's not the whole story. People are not just driven by drives like hunger and, and sex, but also oriented toward purpose and meaning in their life. And so we account for all of that in the approach. So it's a holistic approach to psychology, and it's grounded in the study of people's lived experiences. You know, we're social beings, <laughs> you know, we need connection. We can't just look at what, what's inside people because what's inside people can't be separated from what's outside of us. So who we are is inextricably bound up with others. So we have to account for that in order to be good clinicians. We emphasize how important it is to understand the context. What's the environmental context? As well as looking at the social and cultural factors that contextualize it. So it's a real combination of skills that I, I think you can't really quite get anywhere else.